have heard a lot over the past few years about chemicals in our plastics and cookware that could be dangerous to our health. For years, what's known as BPA was added to plastic to make it more pliable. Only recently has BPA been linked to a number of health concerns. Leslie Mouton introduces us to one woman who came through a devastating illness, determined to find a solution that could help others. 59-year-old children's author Susan Castriota had a sudden twist to her own life story in 2012 when she was diagnosed with a type of breast cancer possibly caused by synthetic estrogen. It was a wake-up call. I was pretty shocked and uh, dismayed that I had kind of been sucked into that whole, um, you know, false sense of security with using plastics. For years, Susan had been living a healthy lifestyle, heating up her vegetables in the microwave. But what she didn't realize is a chemical in the container could have been doing more harm than good. There have been some links to breast cancer because it's a hormonal disease. Jennifer Adibi studies the impact of endocrine disrupting chemicals on human development. Adibi says BPA synthetic estrogen can be found in most plastics. If you're microwaving food, chances are that food has fat in it and they're considered to be fat loving or lipophilic molecules. So they kind of naturally migrate into the fat in the food. Professor Adibi says glass or paper may be less likely to allow chemicals to transfer into food. After beating cancer, Susan vowed to stay away from plastics, which was tougher than she thought. What I found were a lot of glass bowls and mugs, but they all had a plastic top. So Susan invented a universal glass lid. A special lid keeps the glass in place. Vents on top allow veggies to steam. She calls it Cucina Safe and believes it will make the kitchen safer, one microwavable meal at a time. Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.